Students in Professor Fredo Rivera's class, Introduction to Art History, were invited to create a video in response to an artwork featured in Grinnell College Museum of Arts exhibition, Let Yourself Continue. Curated by Associate Director Daniel Strong, this exhibition includes more than 50 women artists from the museum's collection and was organized to commemorate the centennial of the 19th Amendment. In this video, we'll hear from Zoe and Krista speaking about Landschaft unter Baumann by Paula Moderson Becker. Today, we are going to be looking at Paula Moderson Becker's 1902 etching, Landschaft unter Baumann, which is actually quite different from her usual work. Paula Becker was born in 1876 in Dresden, Germany. In 1898, three years before she married her husband, Otto Modersen, Becker joined the Vorpswied School, a group of artists living together near Bremen, Germany. Here, she drew inspiration from nature and scenes of simple peasant life. However, Paula Modersen Becker was an expressionist and is most known for her unidealized self-portraits and use of bright colors. In 1903, Modersen Becker left her husband and traveled to Paris likely looking for respite from the stress of being a new wife and stepmother. In Paris, she created many of the portraits she is most known for, including her groundbreaking self-portraits while pregnant. Modersen Becker later returned to Germany with her husband, where she died from pregnancy complications shortly after. She is most recognized for her portraits, which portray female bodies in an unidealized, powerful way, much different from those created by male artists. Now, looking more specifically at Landschaft unter Baumann, or Landscape Under Trees. This is an etching, where the artist carves lines into a coating on top of a metal sheet. When the work is dipped in acid, the acid cuts into the metal where the coating has been removed, making a print that can be copied many times. Because of the process, all of the lines are clearly defined in the work. The tree bark is made out of the curved lines and the leaves are overlapping spirals. These spirals allow the blank space of the paper to show through, as if the sun is shining through the leaves. Though the trees in the direct foreground have dark outlines, the lines begin to fade slightly in the distance. At 4 by 5.5 inches, the tiny Landschaft unter Baumann still manages to establish depth. The feeling of openness that depth creates adds to the tranquility of the peaceful nature scene. Looking at the piece as a whole, there is a notable lack of human interaction. This is interesting as portraits were Modersen Becker's specialty as an artist. In Landschaft unter Baumann, not only are there no people, but there are very few signs of human interaction. The fence on the right side of the piece and the hint of cultivated land in the distance are the only signs of humans. This adds an aspect of solitude to the work, which combines with the depth and endlessness to form a feeling of freedom and unlimited possibilities. While this piece differs from many of her other works, it's still built around the emotions of expressionism. Modersen Becker wrote in her diary, personal feeling is the main thing. In examining Landschaft unter Baumann, we must focus on the feeling it evokes. The tranquility and freedom depicted in this work likely relate to Modersen Becker's own desires. Perhaps she created this piece in order to provide herself solitude and sanctuary from the stresses of being a wife and stepmother. 